All right, guys. So I'm gonna explain to you what I'm doing here. Um, my goal for this season on this hunting property I'm on is to put in a couple food plots. They're gonna be small, and I've only put in one food plot before, and it was complete fail. Completely different part of the country. I've moved since then, and I'm gonna try to put a new another one in here. Um, I have not done a soil test. I need to do one of those, but for now I'm gonna clear the land. I got some saplings and some small trees and brush and to get out of the way, get some sunlight in here. After that, uh, I'm gonna get the soil ready. Right now it's August 15th, I think. It's like, it's mid-August. And uh, so my goal is to get this ready uh, to plant around mid-September. I'm gonna be planting uh, some uh, no-plow Whitetail Institute uh, forage in here and on the bag it says something like September 25th is start planting it so around mid to late September uh, during deer season will already be open but uh, the, my goal is to not feed the deer as, as weird as that sounds uh, this is a small property it's only six and a half seven acres it's not very it's not very large and uh, I can only feed the deer on this property if I cleared all the trees and planted a huge food plot. There's a lot of deer in the area and there's not a lot of food. So this food, the, I'm, I'm assuming this food plot is not going to grow exponentially. Uh, a, the soil, B, the deer pressure. So I'm expecting to just kill deer over these plots. These will be my kill plots. These aren't supposed to be strictly for food. So my goal is to harvest some deer off of here this year. Um, I've got a couple spots picked out for plots. They're not very far away from each other, but there's basically no trees there where I plan on putting them, except uh, some saplings. I, there's not a ton of sunlight in here, but uh, we're gonna try to make it work anyway. Um, I don't plan on cutting too many trees down, uh, but enough to get some sunlight in here. Um, it's shady all day, and uh, I don't really know what to expect, so let's, going with this uh, food plot. I'm excited and uh, yeah, let's get started. All right guys, uh, we're in the first spot that I plan on uh, making some sort of food plot. It is a more open spot and I cleared out some more brush to make it longer so I can have some shooting lanes when I come out here to hunt. And the brush on the bottom is enough where I can, I believe I can kill it and make sure but there's going to be some dirt ready for when I plant. So now, I'm, right now, I'm not going to actually plant today. I'm going to wait, but I'm going to try to get as much of this ready as possible for September. All right, it is day two of this food plot preparation uh, day. I'll show you guys a recap of what I just did. Um, I raked up all the leaves. I tried to weed it out as best as I could to get all the root systems out of the ground. That way when I plant my food plot, my seeds aren't competing against a ton of different small cover that will shade them out and take all the nutrients and such. Um, I brought a hatchet out here yesterday and cut down a few smaller trees uh, to allow some more sunlight in. Um, on my way down here today, I jumped two fawns, and yesterday I had a deer blow at me on the other side of the property, so they're in here, which is a really good sign. Uh, so I'm gonna continue working on this today, try to get it fully prepped, and then hopefully the next time I'm out here is either checking shell cams or planting the food plot. So stick with us. Okay, everybody, uh, excuse the barking dog in the background. That's the beauty of hunting small properties. Um, sometimes you gotta deal with it. Um, I pretty much cleaned up everything I needed to in this plot. There's still small shrubs and plants and stuff like that, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, I've pretty much got all the big nasty crap out. So is the small stuff gonna affect the plants in the, for the food plot? I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, you guys can see pretty much 
how much I got done. There's some little bit more behind the camera next to the blind. I have it, I had this food plot set up against this blind up here. So hopefully this is all good to go come hunting season. I'm gonna come back here in about a month and plant. Uh, I may come out before and plant something small to get so that none of this washes away because we got a tropical storm coming here, I uh, believe in a couple days. So I might throw some seed out just so none of the little bit of soil I have gets thrown away. So that would not be good if it restart from zero. Um, but as of right now, I am done with this plot. On another note, uh, digging up all these weeds and plants and stuff. I don't know what this plant is, but every single one I pulled up had browse on it. You could tell the deer had been eating it. A lot of them didn't even have leaves on them. They were just eating down to the nubs. Uh, it's got a pretty big root. I'm not sure what plant this is. If you guys know, please put it in the comments below because uh, the deer love it. I don't know what it is. So uh, I'll show you guys here real fast. So there's the root system. Got a pretty big root, bigger than all the other roots out here. And I'm not sure what it is, but like, look how long this one is. Not one leaf left. And you got this one completely browsed out. So the deer love this stuff. So I'm not sure what that is, but let me, let me know in the comments if you know.